Hi guys and welcome back to another video. Today I show you all my favourite drugstore products that I have been using and the lip isn't drugstore so don't come for me but um, this is kind of like the drugstore makeup I have been using over the past couple of months or weeks and I literally love it so if you want to see any of the drugstore makeup and how how and how and what product I use for my highlight please carry on watching so let's get on to the video. Okay, so the first product I will, um, I always do my eyes first. So I've actually got this um, Profusion Cosmetics Frostbite 35 Shade Eyeshadow Palette. And it's so nice. You can get it in that like, super juggle boots. I actually got it for Christmas. So I'm going to kind of just use a natural um, colour. I'm going to use, like, look at the shade. It's like it's so beautiful so i'm gonna be using the shade tangy first and what i do is i just take like kind of a fluffier brush i just kind of go it in i'm not like a makeup artist in any way so but yeah so i kind of just use this just to kind of really just give it and look at the pigment like the pigment is insane. I'm going to kind of bring it closer so you can kind of see. Okay, so, yeah. I'm just going to go in with the tangy shade and just kind of really like buff it in all over. Like, is this the crease? I think it's the crease. I'm so bad at the terminology. Um, but I'm literally just kind of buffing it in. But, yeah, so still continuing with the tangy shade i like doing just like a neutral orangey color um kind of just over the lid it is so pigmented like for a drugstore brand it is so pigmented like literally am obsessed And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take like the light, the kind of like yellowy, orangey shade um, in the shade Fortune. And I'm just going to take this, but then kind of mix both of them together and just, just create like a lighter shade in it. Um, but yeah, the drugstore makeup are bringing out so much kind of good stuff like it's so weird to be like you know this was like i think this was seven pounds i actually did ask for it so i kind of do know um the shade um of it but they're bringing out like so many good things um which are so pigmented and it's so affordable but yeah just gonna do the other eye but um yeah i've kind of always get into more like makeup style videos like as i said i'm not great at makeup but i enjoy kind of doing it i don't know if this is too zoomed in um i really enjoy like doing it um it's just something that is always interesting you know i always watch makeup videos on youtube i'm just going to take them tangy and fortune shades back in just to kind of lighten the lid um and i've always enjoyed watching uh makeup um videos so yeah i always do this like my eyes first purely for the fact that if there's drop out there's not actual drop out in this but if there ever was or i just mucked up i can just swipe it without like swiping my uh foundation but yeah i saw imogen imaginations um drugstore makeup and i think she was like oh my god i really need to do kind of a drugstore -ish makeup video like because i love the drugstore like half my makeup collection is drugstore because i just think yeah um because it's so affordable and i just feel like you get so much for your money and yeah so I kind of really like doing that. I'm just gonna kind of wipe off the excess. I always did use my just just 
buff it all in oops um yeah so I do love a drugstore makeup look it's kind of just like I always have to do like a really orangey shade for if I'm doing a natural look um I just find it's better this might be a bit too bright that's why I'm kind of like trying to tone it down just by blending it in blend 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 that's the key with makeup just gotta keep blending I've got an email um but yeah just gotta keep blending I think but yeah I just kind of just really I don't really like it too high so I kind of just swipe away anything of the excess See, it's very bright like it doesn't look that bright <laughs> in here but I think like the camera brightness is kind of a bit like brighter than it would normally look but that's kind of like my eyes I kind of just do an orangey eye kind of all the time uh if I'm trying to neutralize it or if I use like the um goldy shade so I use like this shade quite a lot and these kind of shades that these two shades um but yeah so much like at Christmas I used the red shade because obviously it was like Christmas vibes uh so yeah I'm just gonna kind of bring that down just to kind of smoke not smoke it out as such but kind of just I don't know everyone does it so <laughs> I'm just kind of just putting it just swipe it down so yeah that's it guys, I don't do my mascara until I've done everything else. So I'm just going to take, I'm, I've tried to like keep my um, brushes as dry as possible. So this is the Revolution brush. Don't come for me because my brushes are so dirty and it's so disgusting. I'm just using this Rimmel Lasting Finish um, 25 hour foundation. In this, It says it's full coverage and it's 200 soft brush um beige and i literally love this it's been my holy grail since like since forever like in all seriousness i used to i didn't get into makeup until kind of later on always blend your neck just next to maiden um so that was just my just someone messaging me about something um I didn't get into makeup until quite late. I was probably why I'm quite bad at it, to be fair. Um, I didn't wear it at school. I just, I don't know why. I just didn't see the point in wearing it at school. I was such a person that would rather stay in bed an extra 20 minutes than do my makeup. Do you know what I mean? Um, so when I did start getting into it, maybe in college, I think YouTube really made me get into it. Like, I can't see if I'm, yeah. Um, it made me really get into makeup and like watching Zoe and Tanya Burr and all the OGs um kind of made me really get into it so yeah I literally love it but yeah as you can see it's kind of like got rid of my redness because my skin is very red toned so like this bit is so red and this bit's kind of covered it all up which I love. I hate, um, I hate doing my makeup sometimes because I'm like, I can't really see because of like, obviously my glasses are off, so I'm kind of having just to, but yeah, as long as you keep blending and just go kind of blend down your neck, blend to your ears, everyone forgets your ears, but they're this different colour, just keep blending, um, out, and then I'm just going to take this, but it is definitely full coverage, like, you know, it's amazing like the drugstore coming out with some good products. I think this is like seven pounds. Um, I really like L'Oreal. Love L'Oreal foundations. Um, I used to love the um oh what was it? Bourgeois foundation, but it made me break out so much. Um and I used to get really itchy skin and I think I was allergic to it, but I used to love it. That used to be really um nice for like every day and yeah and then maybe break out and i was a bit like oh no <laughs> like here we go but yeah what do you like in terms of drugstore products because 
I would like to know if you have any recommendations. Because I've kind of been using the same foundation for so long. That it's like, I want to kind of branch out. But I suppose if you find a good foundation for your um, skin type and your skin tone. And it's fine. Like, you know. But I'd like to kind of branch out um, in the foundation world. Yeah, I've got a lot of, got rid of a lot of my circles. Um, but yeah. So it's really dark outside today, which is really hard when you do your makeup. It's like really like crappy day. Um, but yeah. <laughs> And then what I do is I literally, to make sure it is all blended, I take my primer sponge and I just buff it all in. I find like, I love putting foundation on a brush. Like, some people prefer to do it with a beauty blender. I used to do it a lot with a beauty blender when beauty blenders first started coming out. Um, but I prefer doing it with a brush and then going back over it with a beauty blender. I kind of just do it like really natural, like I don't put too much foundation on because obviously it's like an everyday makeup look. Sometimes I don't even wear foundation, I just wear concealer. Um and I just wear like concealer and then I kind of just um just wear concealer and then put like other product on top, but obviously for the purpose of this ouch. Why did I do that? For the purpose of this video, I'm not going to be doing that. But yeah. So, um, I use obviously the collection Last Imperfection. I mean, doesn't everybody still use this? This is such a holy grail. Everyone uses this. I remember when Emma started using this, I was like, I need to get it. And this is in the shade Fair. Um, fair one and I literally just dot it under my eyes I just make a swipe motion I just do this on my eyebrows I don't know why I've just kind of always done that on my neck on, on my neck nope on my chin and then kind of anywhere I'm quite at the moment I haven't got too many spots I need to kind of fill so it from these ones these ones do my absolute head in they're always like the chin spots and the um chin spots and forehead spots yeah i kind of just kind of just take that up a little bit just kind of make it more oh, and i do put a lot on but this concealer lasts for so long like I'm so surprised at how long this can like that you can see that I've had for so um quite a few months and it's actually lasted a lot so um yeah it's a good old concealer just to get rid of all their spots and things like that like, do you remember when everyone was obsessed with the collection last and perfection and it's such just a fan favourite of mine really. It does the job. It does the job of what it needs to do and you know. But yeah, I always use a brush and then I go over with my beauty blender. Always what I do is I never swipe because I do like that, but like under the eyes I never swipe because it's kind of like my main area of like dark circles. Maybe I should actually get back to sleep and properly and it probably would happen but um yes so i kind of just never swipe just kind of tap and also what i never do is powder up because my skin is very dry and um my skin is very dry in terms when i wear makeup and it really like shows 
when I do my makeup um, of how dry like certain areas are of the skin. Um, so I'll kind of never um, powder because obviously then you're kind of like making it more obvious. My skin's not oily at all, so I just. When I've watched other YouTubers who have like kind of the same skin combination, I kind of just follow them and they never wear powder, so then I stopped wearing powder too. Um, when, like, obviously, hormones play a massive part in your skin, so when my hormones are like everywhere, that's when I do powder because um, my skin is so oily. It's like a combination of dry and oily skin at times um but yeah this is an amazing because i literally love like literally no time and it's just blended in perfect but yeah so the next thing i kind of use is my bronzer of course just to get some color back into the skin um i i use Kind of a smaller brush, and then I use an um, other brush. So I don't know where this brush is from. It's just this brush, and I don't know. I've had it for so many years. I just kind of not contour. I never contour. I just kind of just give it like like a base for the bronzer. I hate doing. I hate speaking, and then my bronzer but this is oh sorry this is the sleek face form contouring and blush palette um it's got and it's in fair 372 um and i literally love it it's so well loved i've had it for so long um it's just got that bronzer highlight and blush shade uh but yeah it's up the forehead i can't just do it everywhere really as long as you bend it in as much as you want on really just keep bending but yeah that's that and then I take a sleek brush just one of my new ones from Christmas but as you can tell it's a bit bronzy um, I'm going to definitely Definitely clean my brushes. I should have done it before this. This bronzer is from the MUA, made, the MUA and it's a matte bonding powder in the shade Solar 10. And it's so good. Like, oh my god, I literally love it. It's like the perfect bronzing shade. And it just gives it that kind of really nice bronze to the skin and it brings it back to life. I'm actually going to use a different. I think that was a bit too dense, so I'm gonna go use a fluffier brush just to bond up the skin. That's better. But yeah, um, this gives it the perfect bronzing shade. I'm just gonna go with. see it's just like perfect but like, just kind of just put it on your cheeks and just kind of just do that forehead on the chin it's like a figure three and just blend just keep blending but yeah and then i'm gonna go back in with that sleek palette that has the blush and I'm just going to use a Real Techniques brush, the blush brush, just to kind of, I used to hate, I didn't really use to wear blush, but I don't know why. Just kind of just started wearing it. Probably because my skin's quite pinky toned anyway, like a pinky ready toned. So I just kind of didn't want to, but yeah, I only use like a flash of, of it, just to give it kind of a bit of, Color. So the next thing I'm also going to be using is from Profusion again, and it's just the Profusion Strobe Highlight Powder Duo. 
um, and I literally love it. And I threw away the packaging, which tells me what shade it's in. Maybe it'll tell me on here. No, it doesn't tell me on here. So I know one is candy floss, and also the, it's amazing. Like this highlighting packet is amazing. You get this, you get a beauty blender, but it's really hard. And um, you get a highlighting stick, and you get two liquid and two liquid highlighters. Um, it's amazing, but I'm kind of just gonna use this. Oh, and you get a brush as well. Just like this nice brush. Kind of put. Then what I do is I kind of mix between the two. So I'm gonna take the pinkiest shade for a look at that. I don't know if you can see that, but oh my god, it's amazing for like a affordable brown. That is amazing. Wow. And then I'll kind of just swatch between the two. Just kind of, oh wow, okay. I see you, I see you. Wow, and then I'll kind of just, I don't know why, I just do the temple down the nose. And just down the chin. I don't know why, I just, I've got this thin off doing that. But wow, I don't know if you can appreciate that. But I can actually just sit. It's just glowy, do you know what I mean? Like, Proper glowy highlight. Thank you, Profusion. Profusion. Everyone knows it's kind of like a glowy look. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Profusion. So, kind of like the last ish kind of step is mascara. So, I use the Extreme Coloured Limp Thinning Mascara in black, and it is the collection one. Um, this is very good as well. It's kind of going to bring a, a mirror closer, and it just def not defines it lengthens your lashes so much. Like I literally love it. I've got all this love waiting just for you. I just gotta know that your love is true. Can't keep running, boy. In and out. So it's just lengthened him. Um, and I've just realised, and he's come do my bronzer like a bit more I'll just bend it up a bit more I think when you like start putting more product in your face it turns a bit more but yeah and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this lip shade and it looks really dark on the bottom but don't worry like I just pat it down and it's the NYX lingerie. Is this a drugstore? Is this a drugstore brand? I don't know if this is a drugstore brand. And I actually haven't got any drugstore brand lipsticks. I've got a MAC one, which also is not drugstore, and I've got a NYX one. And this was £6. I won't say it is, but if it isn't, don't come for me. I'd recommend me some drugstore. I just put a little of it on. And it looks too light or too dark sometimes. I can't feel the difference. Um, yeah, it's a bit too light for this makeup look. See, I'd wear my MAC one. I might just wear my MAC one, and that would literally be the only thing that's not drugstore. Um, so don't come for me. Two seconds. It's my trusty MAC Velvet Teddy lipstick that I always run out of. I always run out of. And I always ask for it for Christmas. Um, I literally love it. Just a nice shade. I can just tap it down with my finger. It's kind of light, isn't it? And that is my makeup look. Really nice. I love the orange of it. I love the highlight. I love the bronzer. I love the lipstick obviously that's not drugstore i love the mascara it's kind of just lengthened it my brows need doing and i haven't got any brow products i literally was looking through and i was like i haven't got any brow product what is wrong with me um it's really bad that i haven't got any bones like i haven't got any brow products so don't come for me i usually have like the, so i usually use the soap and glory arch um arch eyebrow kit um arch eyebrow pencil but i haven't got anything of that left so yeah i'm just kind of 
I'm just kind of like doing that. I'm just gonna take this just to kind of just blend it out just kind of a bit more. This is from the Lil Akintosh range. Um and it's really nice. Okay, so that is the end of the video. I'm gonna put my glasses back on because I can kind of see. Just a bit of a clean up on my glasses. Okay. So that is the end of the video. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a massive thumbs up. I've been recording for 26 minutes. I'm going to have to speed some things up. Um, if you have, give a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you again in the next video.